Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe. As you know very well, I am your computer teacher. My name is Vidya Kanpal. Class 4th. What's the date today? Today is 7th August 2020. So, and you are chapter number 4, formatting text in MS Word. And today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 4, formatting text in MS Word. So, firstly, let's start the topic, what is formatting? Okay, so formatting means to organize text pictures and other elements in a document in such a way that it becomes more attractive and easy to read. It means formatting means to changes and changes and applied features in MS Word our documents. So student next so student, let's start the new words. So open your notebook and note down your new words. So number first, start paragraph. Okay, write properly in your notebook. P A G I light. H I G H L I G H T highlight. The next third character. C H A R A C T E R character. Four document D O C U M E N T document. Next fifth attractive A D W T R A C T I V attractive. Six underline. Next seven alignments A L I G N M E N T alignment. Next eight is next eight is student spacing S P A C I N G spacing. Next nine space bar S P A C E B A R space bar and last ten border B O R D E R border. So student complete notebooks do in your notebook. Class four, open your MS Word and start the practical of regarding formatting text in MS Word. So student, I already mentioned the paragraph to rhyme related jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to write in a one horse open slates. So, in this paragraph, today, we are going to attempt the formatting text in MS Word in this paragraph. So, firstly, select this whole lines. Okay. So, select, select it firstly. And after formatting means to organize text, pictures and becomes more attractive and easy to read. So, first of all, students, click this home, home page and the next, the next option is font color. So, just click and pick and choose the any color of font. Okay. So, I am choosing this blue color and just click. So, See student, this is changes to are related of a formatting in MS Word. And next, we can change the whole paragraph color to like this. Okay. So, this is a next is text highlight color. So, just click. Okay. Then pick the color and choose any one. So, pink. So, see student. This is a changes, changes to our regarding formatting text in MS Word. So, student, 
next feature i am going to choose a first of all select all of you and second i am choose next feature font okay just click and see different types of font theme font available just choose and click any one okay student just click arial arrow okay and see changes to a recording font theme okay so next is your font style font style means first of all select all of all the paragraph then choose the b means bold okay this is a bold feature then i italic okay this feature is italic then next is underline okay so see student this feature is underline so all are related a font style in formatting to changes in ms word now student next and last feature is today changing the font size so first of all select the whole sentence like this okay then what is this this is the font size just click and choose the font size and i am going to choosing a uh, 12 okay just click and see properly so this feature is a font size feature in ms word so all our features related are formatting class 4 you are chapter number 4 formatting text in ms word and today we are going to start a new chapter formatting text in ms word so class today we are going to start our topics number first what is formatting second formatting the text characters a and b and c part divided number first changing the font face changing the font style and changing the font size so student let's start the topic formatting means organize text pictures etc a word document generally has three types of text elements number first student indivisible text second character text and third paragraph text and pages okay student and formatting in this formatting three types of text elements are very important and main first indivisible text character and paragraph text and pages so text formatting means text formatting is important to make the text appears as you would like it to look means the normal features are different fonts related different text sizes different aligning al alignments left center right or justified so student four types of al alignments we know very well left center right or justified then bold print underline italics bullet points all are related of formatting features then student formatting option in ms word 2010 means the most commonly used formatting option of ms word 2010 are available under the home tab which tab student home tab in three groups which one font paragraph group and styles group so first font group means command button helps us to change font face size color case and the style of the individual text characters so we can use of these types of features to related a font group then next paragraph group means command buttons help us to format one or more paragraph by changing their al alignments giving them a border or shading etc means in a paragraph group border shading are related in a paragraph group then next and last style group means command buttons help us to change the styling of the headings and the text in a document to create new styles okay means to create a new style 
in a page document help to a style group see student number first is a home tab in a font group first one second paragraph group and then style group then student next is changing the font face means the type face in which letter typed from the keyboard appear on the screen is known as the font face means the default font face of ms word 2010 is timing times new roman but we can change the font face of the type text to any font loaded on your computer by following these steps so first one select the required text then click on the font button arrow then scroll through the drop down font list and select a font of your choice then the next the font face of the selected text will change so students see the picture of font face related and you choose any option in related of font face then next student see next topic changing the font style means by default word 2010 allows us to type text in regular font but we can change the text style to make it bold italics or underlined then the bold text looks heavier than darker than the surrounding text means italic text looks slightly in line towards the right and underlined text has a line under it so the steps to apply these to the text are as follows so number one step is select the required text and click on the home tab then in the font group click on the bold button to make the text bold or we can choose italic button to make the text italics and we can choose the underlined button to make the text underlined then third you can also click on any two or all the three buttons together to apply more than one font style to the selected text okay student we can choose any text and any font style to the selected text to related a font style then student to remove bold italic and or underlined style select the text and click on the bold italic and underlined button once again so this will render the text as normal okay student now see the picture of related bold and underline and italics related now see student next and last topic is today changing the font size means the font size decodes how bigger or smaller the text character will be so a bigger number means a bigger font size or a bigger size of the text characters the steps to change the font size are means number first step select the required text and open the home tab then click to the home font size drop down arrow in the font group then last select a font size from the list this displayed then last the font size of the selected text will change accordingly okay so font size means to any changes to a related fonts font size to a bigger size and smaller size to a accordingly feature in ms word use a change in the font size okay students so students see a picture of related font size font size list to increase or decrease means smaller and bigger to related selected in a document so student next open your book page number 53 and match the columns correctly and fill it properly in your book it's matching to match properly or mention put the number also okay so firstly to select a word so we will so answer is a double click okay next to select a sentence so we will put the number and mark the a option means control plus click then third to select a paragraph so correct answer is d triple click then to select an entire document answer is b control plus a okay hold to entire document selected then fifth to select any part of text so shift plus click to hold means to select any part of text so student complete it matching in your book class 4 your today's homework is 
write new words in the notebook do practice of the practical done in the class video